we did work in Lebanon, Tennessee as well, which is just outside the, uh, it's kind of in the satellite belt of, of Nashville. Um, they're concerned about the sprawl that's happening here in Lebanon. What was interesting is what we saw going on out in Watertown. You don't know Watertown. It's a tiny little place. Um, they filmed a lot of music videos there for the country music. But this is the side view of what's going on in Mount Juliet. And Lebanon is trying to repair itself before it gets hit by the tsunami coming westward, uh, or eastward. And then here's Watertown. Incidentally, Watertown has the highest value per acre in the entire, in the entire county. And it's a little downtown, a little two-story building that's killing it. Um, to show you the shape of things to come, here's Davidson County, and then the spread into Wilson County where Lebanon is. So they're looking at themselves regionally and going, okay, we've got to think about this. They don't want to be Gwinnett County. And we'll come back to Gwinnett County in a bit. But here's Atlanta spread right into Gwinnett County. And Gwinnett County just went ahead and just allowed it to happen, and it just got overrun uh, with development. So this is an animated model of what's going on since 1900 and how they developed their community. You can see how they built a core area back, back before the Depression. And that area is still producing value for them today. And yes, they suburbanized along Mount Juliet. And watch, this, this is when the tsunami hits in the, in the 90s. Um, you can see it grow up. It's great that they're getting reds, but it's not a lot of permanent value there. So, the building forms matter. This is Wilson Bank and Trust. This is Wilson Bank and Trust. This is in downtown Watertown. This is in Lebanon. Seven million dollars of value per acre. Three million dollars of value per acre. This is more than two times the potency of that same building. Um, two acres of that building would equal the 19 acre big lots. 4.1 acres of this building would equal the 33 acre Walmart. And that's in the state that Lebanon is in right now in their downtown, which is not great. They need to repair it. Um, they're also worried about regional systems. They're thinking about the regional rail line. They're thinking about the job centers along that regional trail line from, from downtown through Nashville on out, how to cultivate wealth out here. Not just see themselves as a bedroom community in the downtown, but how can we do reverse community? How can we get some of this value that's happening in downtown Nashville to happen out here? in downtown Lebanon. And so they really have some value started and then they want to grow that up. And again, it's about looking at this like an economic MRI and seeing the data and making policy decisions to reinforce those economic conditions.